everyone. I'm Rayanne. I'm Aster. And we are Trust Nobody. And this is Trust the Process. Today we are talking with Rain versus the World, one of our favorite musicians ever, ever, ever Whoa, of all favorite. time. Whoa. Yeah, Definitely. no, I was listening to you the whole way here. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Like. <laughs> Definitely. So how's your day going? Yeah. My day's going good. Um, started the morning off pretty early. Woke up at five, I think. Why? It's a long story, bro. It's a long story. We Basically, got time. We got time. <laughs> we got two I'm hours. In, I'm in training for this new job uh, that I'm doing um, at my at the church I'm going to. So, oh. just hope I get that. Okay. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> What's the position? Uh, basically, full time worship leader slash music director. Mm-hmm. So, that's dope. Yeah. So this, I, I want I want to ask like yeah. so, s- you starting off on music was that like a a gospel thing like did I start within the church or so um I grew up so it's, it's a crazy thing so I grew up always in church but I didn't really like tap into the music scene until I was like kind of in my teens okay um but I uh I grew up you know in school doing choir and chorus and things like that so from like elementary school to my freshman year of high school I was doing chorus um, and then I miss chorus. Bro. Chorus was so fun. Chorus days, especially elementary you. school chorus. Tell me why we did. Um, y'all remember that song that every every uh, every day we're shuffling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> tell me why <laughs> we did that in chorus. <laughs> There's no way. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, st- and we did we did the dance too. It was so embarrassing. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. No. no. Like- I ain't gonna lie. We made fun of the chorus kids. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all. Okay. Well, you no, know what? Yeah. At least we can sing. Definitely got made fun of. We got we, <laughs> we did like plays. I was I remember I was Simba and Lion King one year. Okay, that's fun. Um, you were Simba. Yeah, I was Simba. Did I, you get I played. Simba? No, I played. I played older Simba. I played older Simba. Okay, okay. I think it was like my my uh, my eighth grade year. So I was like, you know, eighth graders are the oldest. So they're like, we're we gonna put like you on older Simba. Musical theater. I was not. I actually hated like theater in general. Oh. Like I always like. So I loved like acting. Yeah. I loved uh, movie like movies and stuff. But like musical theater, bro. I was like. Do not put me in a musical, bro, please. <laughs> that ain't it. But, I mean, I did it, so. Yeah. Your, your music isn't, but you, you you didn't do anything in the church. You sung in choir yeah, in church. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, so I started in the church. Yeah. When I started getting into music, I started playing off uh, drums first. And then, oh, wow. um, but it was like simple white people music. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like white people, CCM music. Um, until I moved here, um, that's when I started, like, using my voice um, in the church, and I was like, yeah, I guess, I guess I could sing a little bit. And then I started working on that, um, and then, yeah, here we are. So but you started making music for no, after that. <laughs> but your music isn't, like, gospel. Is yeah, it? no. It's, it's, not, it's yeah, not. I, I wouldn't not. describe your music yeah. as worship music. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's but not. I can see a lot of, like, influence. The influence, yeah. 100%, yeah. 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 right? Yeah, yeah I, try to, I try to, you know, go back to my roots at the end of the day because uh, I'll go to God, you know. And um, so it's like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. And it's like, anything I do, I, I like to put, you know, him into it in some shape or, shape or form. Mm-hmm. Um, but now, like, I think talking about, um, I think it's all about connection. So, like, if you're connecting with a wider audience, then it's easier for people to listen to you. Because, like, if I did, like, worship music, mm-hmm. I'm not tapping into the entire community. You're putting yourself in, you know? like, for one audience. Exactly, kind of exactly. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to I don't, I don't perceive myself as that. I want to be able to, like, anyone can listen to me guilt-free, like, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, and then they see through my character, like, who I am, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, like, I don't talk, like, negative in my music. I don't talk about, like, you know, sex, drug, alcohol, like, all that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you know, whatever the, whatever the I, I guess, quote-unquote negative connotations is. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I try to try to keep that. Yeah, because I also come from a religious background, too. And I feel like in Islam, especially mm-hmm. culturally, yeah. music is super, like, especially Western music is super, like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's super, exactly. like, there's a lot <laughs> of, like, you know, yeah. why are you making music? But yeah. it's, like, not everyone's making, like, that kind of music. Yeah, like exactly. Bro, t- to be honest, like, my grandma, like, she's, like, super, like, super religious. Yeah. To the point where, like, it scared me. When yeah, I was a kid, like, she scared yeah. me away from it. Same. So, <laughs> no, really. So, I remember one time I went to her job. Yeah. And for, like, um, what's it, take a child to work day. And they gave us, like, MP3s, like, MP3 players or whatever. Same. And I remember I listened to hip-hop, like, rap music. Yeah. And she was, like, oh, you have to stop listening to that. Like, right now, it's the devil's music. And I really think that's why I'm a rapper. Like, <laughs> no cap. No. Just because you said don't do it, I was like, but that up, but that up, yeah, yeah, but that up. So um, that's sick, that's sick. you're you're from Atlanta. Yeah, I'm, so kind of. Okay. So I was born here in Miami. I was born um in Miami, and right. I moved to 305 till I die. You know, uh, then I moved to Atlanta yeah. when I was seven, like six or seven, and then I moved back in 2018 to Florida. So like, I I grew up majority in Atlanta, but 
you know, Florida is always a home. You know, how did that? Like, how was that transition to from you? Like, from coming, from being here, going to Atlanta, then coming yeah. back. I mean, I was super young when I moved up there, but the change coming back was really crazy because, like, I was so established where I was. Mm. Um, I was a, I was a sophomore going into my junior year, and I was like, dog, I don't want to leave, bro. I just made all these friends. Like, yeah. I'm gonna get into sports, like all this stuff, and then I have to start fresh, you know. Um, but, dude, it was crazy. And, but I'm so grateful for it as well because it was such a humbling experience for me because um, when I came here, it was like I got to start my life basically over. Okay. And, like, I could do the changes that I wanted to do. I could try new hobbies. I can do, like, you know, meet new friends. I'd be like, fresh, so, yeah. which is cool. It was yeah. really cool. It was great. I, it was great. So, like, you know, I, want, I do want to talk about, like, your latest future. Yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of Atlanta, because, right. you know. Shout uh, out. Shout speaking out of Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, shout, shout out to MMW. Shout out to MMW. Shout out to MMW. Yeah, boy, so, boy. you know, that was a surprise to me, you being on um, Bittersweet. Like, how did that come about? You guys linking up? Yeah, when yeah. did you even go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw the so, video. I'm like, when were you there? <laughs> yo, funny story. So, that song was not the same video. was not a part of the same video that he posted. Oh. It was completely different. Bruh. Yeah. So, so you got, got, like, got other stuff? Like, we got something in the vault, you know what I'm saying? We got something in the vault. Me. Him and uh, Chikusa. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. I boys? went to Atlanta for my birthday in November last year and mm -hmm. also stayed for Thanksgiving because, you know, my family's up there. Um, and I linked with them and I was like, yo, like, let's do something or whatever. Uh, we got coffee that day. Like, we just chilled and then we were like, yo, let's make some mov uh, music at the crib. Um, and so we did and it was just like one song and then that was it. I had to leave. And then he hits me up like months later. He's like, "Yo, I got this feat that I want you in. Yeah. Like, can you like do something?" I was like, "Yeah, I could try. I, mean, I, mean, yeah. I could try." And he sends me like this beat, and I'm like, "Yo, and this is a complex this. beat, bro. Sick, yeah. It was crazy. I yeah. was like, "Yo, this guy be producing, man." Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, "I'm not yeah. used to this." And then so I was just sitting in my room like for weeks, and he would like text me every day, "Yo, can you send me the verse? Can you send me? The verse? Can, you send, can you at least <laughs> send me no something?" And I'm like, "Yo, I'm so sorry. I'm trying so hard bro, to like, think of I something." I know how that goes, bro. Like, bro, I know how that goes. Yeah. Bro. But then we finally came up with it. I came up with the hook, and then uh, he loved it from there. So like, I'm I'm happy that I got one with him. So yeah, he's, he's a great one of, guy. He's definitely like one of my my favorite local artists. So Same. like to see you guys collab was like dope. That's I I that's like a, a and dream it was a surprise. For me. Yeah, really? and it was a surprise. Yeah, hundred percent. Really, that's crazy. Yeah, I have like you know how people have like dream collabs. Like oh, who they want? I also yeah. have like dream local collabs because so I actually sick. listen to like you know local artists and whatever yeah. that I, I really as understand. you should yeah so Tight. you know as you should support the community so like that for me was just like that's that was so far that was so that's far sick. That's sick. um so you know i, I do want to say I, I do love the, the name rain thank you but like versus <laughs> yeah. the world like yeah. i want to know where that comes from if, is if it's, is it the obvious, I mean, yeah. is it the obvious what, what's, what do you think what do you think what do you what do y'all think <laughs> Good. You know, Miss Ramona Flowers is an inspiration to okay. us all. <laughs> all right, good, good take. Okay, kind of the same as you. Ever. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Scott Pilgrim. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So are you, are you are you like an actual fan oh, of I the love media? Scott Pilgrim. Like I love Scott the Pilgrim. comics, the movie. Yeah. Like. So did I was a huge fan. Show? I I didn't actually no. I didn't finish the show. Wow. I, I watched like the first two episodes. I didn't finish it. Yeah. I put on camera lying. No, it's because you know why the Netflix. If Netflix, if you're watching this, stop oh logging us out. Like this two, this <laughs> no, two, so this weird. two TV thing needs to end. No, I just, I do. I suck at like dedicating myself to a show and then finishing it. Like that's the worst. You can ask these guys over here. Like they'll be like, "Yo, Rain, like, did you watch the newest episode of uh, what were we, which, what were we just watching? Um, uh, uh, uh." The the Damn, ham, 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 Sam, the ham, Sam. No, Blue Eyes Samurai. We were watching Blue Eyes Samurai. Oh, that is so and, good. Um, yeah, he was like, that. yo, did you finish it? I'm like, no, nah, bro, I'm still on episode two. He's like, bro, I just finished it. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was like a month yeah. later. So, yeah. yeah, that's why I haven't finished it. But the name comes from that. Um, it also comes from, like, the idea of just, like, me being different from the world. I always grew up feeling like an outcast almost. I feel like some small artists can agree to that mm -hmm. as to some shape or form. Um, like I was never really into sports. Uh, I was a chorus kid. Like I tried to fit in at places, and I just never fit, uh, fit in anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt like, quote the world was against me, my emo phase or whatever. I like and it. And so yeah. Um, yeah, and then I just love Scott Pilgrim and obviously Lil Uzi. So I was like, okay, me, <laughs> that's what I didn't expect that me, one. Uh, put two like three and you know yeah. three together. So. I saw your Spotify bio it says Us vs. the World, baby. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't know if it was from Scott Pilgrim. I love Scott Pilgrim, too. Yeah. Like, that movie, especially the movie, for me, like, 
like even the scene with like um where Scott's about to fight um Brie Lark, I forgot her her character's name. Uh, Ivy. 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 Yeah, her her boyfriend and like the vegan. Chris yeah, the vegan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 Chris, no, the Chris, vegan, no, Chris the Evans is the skater. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's he right. was the number vegan. two. And, and, oh, yeah, there's yeah, a specific scene where like he picks Scott up and like everything turns like black and white and whatever. Like that scene right there is so fire to me. Like I just, I just love Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, that that's movie's sick. so good. So your name, yeah. Rain, is your actual name. Rain yeah. is my actual Which name. I Shout feel out like moms. She she snapped the towel. She's lit. I like Rain. Also, are we supposed to be like painting right now? Oh yeah, I just okay, started. Oh, so you know, we're like, to be painting. Okay. <laughs> I'm like I'm not a good right painter, now. so I'm procrastinating. I'm, I'm just going. In. Ask I just need something to do while I app, you know, get my mind going. But like, is there like a meaning behind your name? Um. So, <laughs> when I was growing up, uh, I remember some, like, this group of people, like, asked me, they're like, oh, what does your name mean? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, let's look it up on Urban Dictionary, the worst place <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> what names mean. Yeah. And I remember the first thing it said was, like, a princess. I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, Rita. I got to change my name now. And so, I went, by, I went by that. my middle name for a long time, which is Christopher. Uh, oh, wow. And so, I was like, yo, just call me Chris, bro. I don't like that <laughs> I would, brain. That, I feel like that does not fit you. Yeah, it doesn't. It well, doesn't. <laughs> I do want to ask, though, like, because yeah. like, I don't know if you listen to, you know, it's very hard to open. That's why I'm not oh. painting right now. <laughs> I got you. But, like, Rand got, right, got, got it. You got, you got, you got but, like, um, I don't know if you ever listened to the Scott Pilgrim, like, soundtrack for the movie. Yeah. But yeah. would you ever, I feel like if I heard you on some rock, like, I don't know, I bro. think it'd be fire. Like, so, even if you did, like, Sheep by Metric. Yo, that's sick. That it would be so fire. I love the song Ramona by Beck. That yeah. song, that song, Ramona. Yeah, bro, that song's sick. I would love to do that song. Or, um, Hello again, again friend. Uh, that would be uh, sick too. So, okay. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe in the near future. So like, okay. Cool. But speak, speaking of covers. Yeah. So my actual first song, like that I heard from you, yeah. was your um, Streetcar Cover by Dan Caesar. Oh snap! Okay. It so was on a yeah. It was on a Luna's sweet. playlist. Thank um, you. and like I remember, I remember I showed my brother. My brother's over there. Yeah. I showed him that song. I'm like, bro, this is um Arden and Rain versus. I'm thinking I'm being slick. Like, you know, he about to hear some new some new music. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, song called Streetcar, <laughs> bro. He's like, but it's Dan Caesar, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, nah, 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 this rain, bro, this rain. He's like, nah, bro, like this, this is a cover, bro. Yeah. I remember it was on Spotify. I'm guessing you took it off because yeah, you I don't did. own it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of reasons, but it'll you, be back soon. Don't worry. You want to go back and in, go into that or no? Nah? nah, I mean, it's just like a, it was kind of an impulse drop. Okay. And um, I didn't spend as much time as I wanted to on it, and so I was just like, I want to put something out. I want to put out a Daniel Caesar song because this song blew up on YouTube, mm -hmm. and then it um, did. So I was like. Let me just try and put some out, and then more like after I listen to it, like we all get that feeling, just like dang, this kind of sucks. Bro, and so I'm like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> let me let me redrop it later on, and then so yeah, that's the plan is to drop it again for mm -hmm. sure after I like edit it some more. Better production time. Yeah, for, exactly. Yeah, I'm trying amazing. to get these guys to do something on it eventually. These guys are amazing. Yeah, yeah. by the way, you guys will see who I'm talking about later. in a second. <laughs> Ryan, what was your first song you were about? Remember? I think the first, because I remember meeting you at Stay Up, but I missed your set because I had to run home. Oh, yeah, that's and get right. my stuff. Bro, you were so devastated. Bro, and I was so devastated. I was like, it's okay, bro. Like, <laughs> trust me. No, because I was like, when will I see you again? And then I ended up seeing you like a the month later day, at Strike. Yeah. I, think, I think it was the next day. Strike was like, the next day? Or like two days after. Oh, my God. Listen, my memory is gone. But yeah, I remember seeing that's you at Strike and like... I wasn't performing, but I was just like vending and stuff, and I was yeah. like, I was like, damn, that nigga can really perform. <laughs> like he's, he put on a whole, and you had Let's like see. the whole band and everything, like yeah. keys, drums, like, everything, and I was like, wow, like I've never seen such a full. Co I've never seen musicians be mm. so in sync. Yeah. Like it's like you guys had one brain. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, for it was real. so good, for and real. I was like. For this little uh, little FIU like set, oh, like this it. is so like you you guys really snapped. I yeah. was like, wow. Yeah, I love these guys. They're like, when I say I, I didn't I didn't have brothers growing up, but like mm. they definitely are the closest thing to like blood brothers that I've ever gotten. And like the way we connected and the way we connect through music and just like life in general is just so like beautiful, honestly. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't trade them for the world, bro. Oh. I love that guy right there. Love That's that dope. guy. He's so the first one. I love Alex too. Yeah. But he, we're talking specifically about Eli because uh, he was there at the first one. So, you know, since we're on the topic of performances already, yeah. um, you know, you've done, like, uh, Los Santo, uh, Art Basel. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's um, my first let's one. Let's get it together, stay up, <laughs> yeah. and then very proud, three points. Yeah. So Shout I just want to know about, you know, just transitioning from, like, all these stages yeah. into, like, the big stage of yeah. three points, how that felt, you know, and what did you, what did you see yourself when you first in 2021? You know, performing, yeah. and then to like yeah. now performing. Like, how has things grown? How have things changed? How comfortable have you gotten? Are you still nervous? Yeah. Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Get I mean, it. man, I think uh, 
I think everyone kind of feels, I don't know, the same way in, in a way. Like we all, we all love the idea of just being on a big stage, but it's always about appreciating the little stages that you're on first. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was something that I came to realize, especially like growing as an artist, because I'm like, yo, I want to be a, the big, like, the biggest artist like in South Florida or whatever. For sure. And I'm like, no, I need to take a step back because I can't do that unless, you know, I, I like I start from square one. Um, but like it was a cool transition. It definitely happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. But I think it's honestly because of the humility that I had for like the, the art and everything. Um, and I feel like you put yeah. in like your 10,000 hours yeah. before that. Yeah. So like even though it seemed like it was fast, like you, you were prepared for it when Thank it you, came, yeah. when the opportunity came up. Yeah, for sure. And like shout out three points, bro. They were they were amazing. Um, yeah. There were some like obviously some technical difficulties, but that's that's every event. One hundred percent. Every like yeah. everywhere. Um, but like we had a great time. Um, Brie had a great time. She was that was her first festival, and um, oh, that's we just dope. Had a, we just had a great time there. Did um, you guys see any other artists? Bro, yeah. So we saw we were there Friday and Saturday. Um, Saturday, <laughs> Saturday we. Uh, we actually started getting like backstage to like some sets. So we saw like Tokisha backstage. We saw what? we saw oh, Teo backstage, which is sick. Um, I actually like I had a full blown conversation with that man because I saw him Friday and I was like, yo, and he's like, yo, I was like, you're performing here? He's like, yeah. And then um, I saw him backstage before he went on and after he went on. So like we had a cool like little yap session. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like yeah, I appreciate the little stages, man. I think those are super important and um <clears throat> i think looking back from the first performance i definitely grown in confidence um i felt like i always had a little bit of confidence because of like you know singing at church and stuff mm. but when it comes to your own music it's a little different but um yeah it was definitely a huge huge step and yeah. i'm forever grateful for that so yeah yeah i, I see the confidence even when, when i watched your um npr tiny um dance submission yeah. like you know it thank was just so fluid you guys you, you guys you. went crazy how's your, your process in terms of just like you know practicing or rehearsing like yeah it's, it's a specific days and a schedule for that yeah. like how's that work so what is crazy is that like um all the guys their schedule is like kind of all over the place and honestly mine is too Mine's probably the the most all over the place because I <laughs> well, every band I, feel I work like a that, lot. Bro, <laughs> exactly. it's, it's just, everybody's trying to figure out when it, when they can work and be in. Yeah, same. it's so crazy. And like these guys live close to me, but Steven, he lives in Miami, mm -hmm. so it's like we really have to like figure out a time where like we're all free and like you know the the time works out. But usually, like for a really big performance for three points, uh, I think we had like four practices, four or five practices, and then for like little shows, like we'll do like three or two, you know. Yeah. Man, I try to keep them under two hours, wow. under three hours. Yeah, I do say what well, I say. Well, yeah, too. like two or three hours. Cause like, bro, people have lives. I don't yeah. want to like keep you at my house for so long. Like, I feel terrible. Yeah, like I'm taking you away from your day. Mm -hmm. I'm. Um, I think I'm super like. Nah, I'll do another one real quick. Let's really? Another, yeah. yeah. Like, let's I'll do, wait, let's do one like, more. And I'm like, I've been singing. Yeah. <laughs> my throat My hurts. throat hurts. Yeah. Please. But I'm like, I'm like, bro, we gotta get it right. Like, I just, yeah. I just, I, I think. I get very like embarrassed, like yeah. like trying to like mess up on stage, even though it doesn't even happen for real. Yeah. When yeah. I am on stage, it's kind of to me. I'm just like, I want to make sure everything's right, even though I know the song 100. Yeah. percent yeah. And when it when it go in, and I just have to like practice for like forever. <laughs> no, no, I feel that. Forever, I feel like you want to have confidence. You don't want to feel like you're up there and just like embarrassing yourself. 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. I feel like even at strike, like you came and you were exuding confidence and you were super like you knew what to that's say crazy. at all the right parts you know yeah. like nothing was like awkward that's wild that you say that because i'm super introverted <laughs> that's so funny. which is crazy because i don't really feel like you are i've grown i've definitely grown a lot i think um really? just being like just a leader in my church and like my community mm -hmm. has helped me uh you know speak out more and like you know be more involved yeah. and like learn how to talk because like i bro find me like two years ago Heck no, bro. I could not speak on stage. <laughs> really? I was scared, dog. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, it's because, like, I don't know if you, I guess it's, like, a little bit of social anxiety, but um, it's more of, like, just, like, afraid of um, embarrassing myself mm -hmm. or just saying the wrong thing or, like, slipping up. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's always, like, in the back of my mind. Yeah. So, but, I mean, I do pretty something. good job. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you say something on stage and it does not hit with the crowd like you thought bro. it was. <laughs> Crazy. Yo, I remember... <laughs> I remember we did uh, a show for uh, Sandbox uh, in Miami, mm -hmm. and I made a I, I made a Queen Elizabeth joke because she had just died. 
Oh. It was bad. And no one laughed. Everybody was like, oh, snap. Yeah. I would have laughed. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of wild, but it was pretty funny, but it was yeah. kind of wild. What, what was the joke? Well, I, about to say. I don't even remember. Um, <laughs> dang, I don't even remember. Rest Philip, do you remember? <laughs> you don't remember? No, nah, I don't remember. Dang. That's so but, funny. But, yeah, it was kind of wild. It was kind of out of pocket. Everyone yeah. was like, yo. <laughs> but, like, yo, it opened up the room that? a little bit. Like, people kind of loosened up. So, it was kind of cool. Yeah. Had a good time. Mm-hmm. That's funny because yeah. I feel like, I think one thing with, like, because I've, I've been a solo artist before. A solo artist before I was um, working with, um, you know, I was in uh, right. Project Ruckus. And yeah. then, you know, I'm doing stuff, Trust Nobody, me and Rayanne. And yeah. for us, it's just trying to find out like how to be in sync yeah. more so on stage because like i was just so reliant i didn't care like yeah. I, I could do whatever i want on stage yeah. mm-hmm. you That's know but it, yeah and i gotta look to her and be like oh wait where, where's Rihanna? Like, <laughs> and i'm in the crowd okay? somewhere yeah, is she in the crowd or uh, am i in the back like are oh, we just man. like if someone's trying to get footage of us and like yeah i'm yeah. on the stage and, like, Staying like within frame of yeah, each other within frame. So hard, yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so like that's the stuff like we're that's the process that we're trying to learn it's just like yeah. how to be more like in sync yeah like, better chemistry can i talk can, I, I know you guys are asking me questions but i just want to say like y'all as a duo is probably like the most insane thing i've ever seen that's fire no, and, like y'all are it. just like starting like yeah. i think y'all only have three songs out two songs yeah, out. Yeah. yeah three songs and like um dude just like the reaction of people just like listening and like loving y'all is crazy no, I, I think you guys are handling it in such a like a humble way and like because like yeah. it's so easy to get it to your head like especially when you're um, doing something that you like and it's getting a lot of traction. Mm-hmm. Like, people just take that and run, bro. Yeah. But I think they're you like, guys... Oh, shit. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. I think I think you guys are, like, probably the best duo to, like, do this. And Thank you. Thank you. Trust nobody. It stream was, all platforms. <laughs> if you're not topped in, what are you doing? <laughs> it was definitely, like, a little... Um, uh, I think random for us because, like, I definitely was, I had my own solo stuff going yeah. on and so did yeah, Ryan. Yeah, but, like, yeah, yeah. I think we... I, for me, I def- definitely think I wanted to do something like different, mm-hmm. like yeah. different, like extremely different for yeah. myself. And like this was the most like uncomfortable thing I could do for myself. Was like so true. Like band Work with another person. Yeah, yeah. another person. You Especially me? like rock yeah. music too. Yeah, like, there's not a lot of like black people in rock music. Yeah, even though that's where yeah. it originated. Because I would even <clears> say, <throat> you know, <laughs> crazy. I would even say like I would just say alternative. It's a more yeah, so alternative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so it's like it's definitely like uh like newer. You know, and it's just we're called trust nobody, but like you know. That's my dog. You yeah, exactly. Know, that's my dog. Mm-hmm. You know we so. trust her sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. You know, I'm going to still ask him. I'm going to still ask him a question I asked him yesterday. No, oh, to yeah, make sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I feel like when I moved to Miami and like I met Aster is kind yeah. of when I came into a new phase of myself as like an artist. Do mm-hmm. you think like you had any moments like that with your like with your bandmates or just mm-hmm. like with church or even in the community too? No, for sure. Because um, I think... I think every day like I'm learning something new. Mm-hmm. So like I started making music just by myself in my room with my laptop on Audacity. Like yep. st- ripping Audacity? YouTube beats. Audacity. Wait, I was broke, bro. That was me. I at was 12. Broke. Oh. See? Yeah. At least I have somebody to vouch yeah. for. Bro. Yeah, Audacity was just so I was broke, bro, y'all. Uh, yeah. And like um just like over time like learning like you know, subtle music theory or just like learning how to play instruments and then now like being cohesive with a band and just like meeting people that like are better than me and I have to like talk like I know what I'm talking about <laughs> like like all these things yeah. like kind of shape me to obviously like strive to be a better artist and a better musician yeah. um so yeah I definitely think I'm I'm learning every single day and mm-hmm. uh the Miami scene especially like there's every like it's not a competition but everybody is like trying to do something and um like you don't want to be left behind for sure yeah so it's it's very um the scene is very diverse. Yeah. Which I I really appreciate it a lot. Like I meet like new artists like I think a uh, more so like going to like lunacy shows. Yeah. Like but the last show we did um I met like a couple bands. I'm like bro I've never heard of you in my life. Yeah. Like to be honest, <laughs> yeah. which is pretty dope. Yeah. Where'd where did you, you come, come from? from? Which is pretty. Where did we come from? To be honest, I'm like I guess you know I I, I guess it been? makes sense. Are there any people like in the scene that you like really like respect? You love their music? Dude. Like you have a top three or anything? Or I bro, I can give you a top thousand, bro. Let's do it right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you guys. You guys have definitely meeting you guys and then like tapping into like your music has like really inspired me a lot. Um, and just seeing like you guys perform and like how you guys do live stuff and how you guys handle the crowd, um, for sure. Um, we got all the homies, man. I can list them all out. I got Cosmo. Cosmo, what? Uh, Cosmo, Cosmo introduced me literally to the Miami Museum, and I'm forever grateful for him. Yeah, I owe that man my life. Yeah, um, would not be here today without real, him. Real quick, cause yeah. like well, I remember Cosmo used to do like um, 
Steve's Lacey covers a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny because you have one on your YouTube channel yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What I song? Do. What song is it? Uh, uh, now I want you. No, no. It's um. Sorry, I'm trying to think. I have two. Yeah. There's one that I did for a live show that was Dark Red. I remember. And then, Dark Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. And then I have a cover on SoundCloud uh, for In Front of Me. Oh, um, I never yeah. heard that one. Yeah, I, I yeah. listened to that. So that one, yeah, that one's. Okay. Those are my two. Cosmo, yeah. Yeah, Cosmo the Go. I was going to say, what do you think of the, the Steve Lacey comparisons? How do you feel about that? <laughs> do you get those? I used to get it a lot when I had a buzz cut mm. and I oh, had my yeah. tattoos. Um, <laughs> but now, like, I mean, it's cool. I mean, obviously, I'm not Steve Lacey. Obviously, I'm not trying to be like <laughs> Steve Lacey. Yeah. Um, but, like, I guess I guess it's more beneficial for me because whenever I'm telling people that I make music, that's, like, the first name that comes to mind. Like, mm. oh, if you like Steve you Lacey, you're going to like reference. me. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Which is kind of mm -hmm. like, I don't think we're similar in sound, but I think like we're close enough. Yeah, because I don't, I don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I really see, see, like, I, I see it and I feel like, like, I see it in, I guess, like the guitar yeah. and like the okay, overall yes. genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you get down to it and like if you went song for song. Yeah, there's, there's so no real yeah, comparison. So yeah. yeah, there's no real comparison. So true, so to true. Be there. It's a little bit racist. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> no, when no, you no, think no. Of Stop it. That Drake line was crazy. No. <laughs> Say, saying I sound like Drake is wild. Yeah. But Who said that? I got to figure out. I that do, was crazy. I do want to rewind back to yeah. when you were saying you were recording Audacity because yeah. I want to get really into your, your process yeah. of like just writing music and producing. Do you have producers you work with? Like, yeah. Is it just, do you work with just these guys? Like, do you produce yourself? Like, no, how, I, how I have, have a lot of friends. Um, Abner, Dennis is one of oh, them. Oh, Abner's ta Abner's extremely great. talented. Yeah, uh, extremely talented. We got Xander Zell. Shout out Xander Zell. Xander's, yeah. Uh, we got Miguel. Yeah. We got... I think you work with Ed, right? Ed? Eddie, yeah. yeah. Eddie, Ed He's, mixed it. Him and... Um, uh, I don't know why the name is blanking right now, but uh, the Bull the Bull Studios, Bull Production Studios. Mm. Um, Andrew, there he is. There's the name. Um, who else? These guys, obviously. Uh, Alex is a producer himself. He's been he's been tapping in, even though he's right. a little shy over there. <laughs> um, yeah, like those are like my core my core group of people that I kind of kind of look For to. Sure. Valentine too, honestly. Valentine, he's like tapping in too. Um, the producer stuff, so we're, we're gonna oh, make I some stuff no, soon. Far, yeah. yeah, we're gonna make some stuff soon, so for sure. Yeah. What about writing? Like, how does that start? Do you do you ever like you know? Do you take different approaches? Do you like ever uh, punch in? Yeah. Do you write from verse to verse? Have you ever written a verse and then had a beat built for it? Like, yeah. So um, I always find it difficult to like write and then come up with a like a progression. So I always come up with a progression first and then I write to it. But, like, dude, honestly, like, people ask me what my process is, and I don't think I have one. Because, yeah. like, there's days where I, like, do exactly what I thought, like, I'm supposed to be doing, or, like, what I'm, like, used to, and then I won't come up with anything. Yeah. Um, but I know ways that usually, like, get me creative is, like, you know, going outside, hanging out with friends, um, just experiencing life in general, mm -hmm. and then um, taking everything that I learned or, like, experienced in that day, and then just come home and just, like, put on some, a drum loop or something, yeah. get my guitar, like, go yeah. crazy from there. Um, some of my songs don't mean anything. I'm gonna just say that right now. <laughs> let me let me get like yeah. let me get a name. Like what song? Don't right. mean Fargo doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> I've never met a girl from Fargo. Never been to Fargo. Yeah. All I know is it is in North Dakota. <laughs> That's my favorite um, song. I want you wasn't about anybody specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Caroline. Caroline. I only met one Caroline in my life, and that was after the song. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. it's Keep just the like Caroline allegation. <laughs> yeah. Never no, met a Carolina in my life. No, that's funny. I have, yeah. We have a song called Delilah, and I'm like, I Never don't know. I don't know who that was. Never met a Delilah <laughs> bro, in my life. Yeah. First time I heard I was like, hey, there, Delilah. No, that's yeah. literally <laughs> inspiration. That's literally inspiration, bro. That's sick. But yeah, like, I don't want to say, like, I'm completely a liar, because, like, all those things are, I they guess, things from. that, yeah, they come from something. They root from something. Either something I've experienced or something a friend has experienced or, like, yeah. something I've seen in a movie or, like, you know, mm. stuff like that. Like, I'm not completely like a cap rapper, you know. Like yeah. I am a cap artist. So. Did you write Fargo because of the movie Fargo? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Because mm. um, wasn't that Chris Rock? Mm. I think he's in that, right? I've never even seen that movie before. I even know it's yeah. a movie. Okay, yeah. it's, it's a movie a, and, a, and show. a show. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes, y'all seen it? You seen yeah, the show? Yeah. Or just the movie. I've seen the show and the movie. Okay. I have not seen either, but I just know of it. Would you recommend yeah. it? Uh, so the movie. I, I, honestly, I don't remember much, but I think it was a pretty good movie. The show, I, I don't remember too much about either. I think Martin Freeman's in the show. The, um, you know Sherlock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His assistant. Okay, yeah. Little, yeah. yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. So it's a good show. What, what song? Oh, sorry. No, I was saying it's a good show. What songs do mean something to you? Like, what songs mm. have you written and put out, and you're like, this is a piece of me? 
Yeah. Um, definitely my recent one, Hold On. Mm-hmm. That's like the first one that comes to mind. That was like the most vulnerable I've ever been in a song. Yeah. Um, Dragons is another one that isn't like fully released, but like it's out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've dropped. Uh, Afraid to Love Again mm-hmm. is another one. Um, that boy had the braids. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did. I did. And I want to say, hold on. Miles and Menace too, yeah. I guess Miles yeah. and Menace, yeah. You got to say Miles and Menace. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. sometimes I be thinking about the old me sometimes, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm so I, I do yeah. want to talk about, hold, hold on, holding on. Hold sure, on, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, let's get into it. Like, okay. you know, what spurred it? Like, when did you write it? Yeah. Was that something you had in the vote for a fat minute? Like, yeah. you know, like. So, I um I wrote it when I was in Georgia in November. Okay. Um, right, that same trip. Same trip when I saw uh, MMW. Um, oh, it was cool. the night after I saw Sampha. Now, La High had changed my life, bro. That album is crazy. So I saw him live for the first time ever. I never thought I'd see him live. Shout out my girlfriend in the back for getting me tickets. She went with me. Um, she, I don't know how we even like, he just like, was like, oh yeah, we're going to, I'm going to Georgia. We're like, oh, we got to go to Georgia. And so she's like, I'm going to buy it for your birthday. And then she got it for me. Um, so I saw him live for the first time. I never thought I'd see him live. And it was like, it was an experience that blew me the freak away, bro. And so, like, it inspired me so much. I, I went back to my grandparents' house. That's where I was staying. And I pulled out my laptop. I was like, all right, I'm going to tap in. So found out this progression um, and played on the, the keyboard piano on Logic. So that was pretty funny. And then I had, oh, like, the uh, – Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the uh, – I had, like, the arrangement kind of figured out. Um, and then I was like, yo, this kind of, like – sucks with like no keys so i sent it to alex i was like alex yo can you please like make this more pretty he's like gotcha bro did it in five minutes <laughs> like, fire, that, fire. he's like yo i'm getting food right now but when i get home i'm gonna send it to you i'm like all right i'm probably not gonna get it to like tomorrow or the next day this man sends it right away um that's how like talented and crazy fast this guy works um and yeah we got it done we like uh, we like got the progression done we got like the arrangement done and I was just, like, recording the vocals. And, like, recording in your grandparents' house is kind of weird because, like, they're always home, especially when they're retired, bro. Mm-hmm. But luckily, they have an extra room in their house. Mm. So I went in there. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, Got to I want. Yeah. So, yeah, so that song was an experience because, um, I said, like I said, it was me being super vulnerable. Um, and I was like, me and Alex were both going kind of through a rough time in yeah. our life. And um, I was like, this is, like, a perfect opportunity to just kind of, like, talk about what it means to like not give up and hold on um because like obviously we're very spiritual people um and like we believe that things always change and that they're changing for the better benefit of our good um and bad days aren't supposed to be stay bad days so we were just like yeah like i'm gonna just write something um and let me know what you think about it see if it resonates with you and then start writing the verses you know father stretch my hands why don't you stretch my hands to you? Uh, you told me you want the best for me. Uh, this pure white, pure white picket fence is broken, chipped tone for you. Uh, so please care for me, you know, and like, like think about me in this time of like, I need you. And um, as I'm like saying that, it's like the chorus came to me, hold on, just hold on. I know you're lost and scared. I know you're terrified, but hold on. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it sounds really cheesy. No, sounds it's like, bro, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm all, like, you're saying it, I'm like, yeah. bro, that sounds beautiful, man. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, but it's like, I it's crazy because, like, you hear, like, you see, like, all these artists do, like, motivational songs, and, like, they kind of flop. Like, yeah. think about Logic Logic's song, the uh, one about suicide. Exactly. I mean, nigga, listen, my, my. Yeah, Y'all that singing song kind of so flop. <laughs> Y'all singing it right now, so I don't know if it flopped or not. It's catchy. Lie. But, like... <laughs> It's not in yeah. your playlist. It's definitely, definitely not in your not. playlist. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. So that's, that's what I was real. afraid of when I was putting it out. I was like, I don't want people to like think it's cheesy or like lame or like whatever. But yeah. I actually got a text today. I'm gonna read y'all. I'm gonna read it to y'all because it was actually really sweet. Um, my homie uh, that I used to work with, she said, "I always really needed. I always, I always really need you to know this song brings me tears every time." You think I'm being dramatic? That's a real statistic, <laughs> and it's getting me through. And I love that you shared this with the world. And she sent me like the screenshot of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh so it was super God, dope. And like seeing that stuff is like, okay, like, all right, maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe yeah. it was for the better. When someone else resonates with your music and 
Dude. Bro, I'm waiting for the day someone's like, your music saved my life. Bro, it saved I'm, my life, be like, I'm going to tell you right. I've got a couple life. of those, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I swear, yeah. That's it's so it's actually That's like so random paragraphs. Yeah. Like, I remember I remember one one girl was telling me, she, um, she DM'd me, she was like, oh, um, the person sending you a message right now is a girl from Australia trying to cope with her feelings or something like that. Oh. And I was like... I don't even know what to say to this. Like oh. honestly, but I, yeah. but to say thank you and I hope you're okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Soon. But it was it was random and like yeah. moments like those I really appreciate. So mm. and the song the song that I wrote wasn't even intentionally, you know, created to help anybody. So mm-hmm. you know, I want to shout out to you because yeah. hold, hold on is such a powerful like song, bro. Thank you, yeah. And I, I would say I guess that it would be the closest to to like gospel to yeah, be honest yeah, with you because yeah. mm-hmm. I do fear it spiritually. Thank you. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I feel like it's pulling at me. Some, sure. some type of way every yeah. time I listen to it so like you know shout out to you Rain thank like you, beautiful song bro thank you bro yeah. thank you appreciate that so yeah. you know summer EP what, what's popping like what's going on <sighs> we, we locked in we locked are in are you lying yep <laughs> lying right now we are not locked in <laughs> we are not locked in I'm trying to be locked in life is crazy right now um, juggling a lot these guys are juggling a lot mm-hmm. so like we want to take it patiently we want to yeah. take it smoothly um, music is a beautiful thing, but our feelings and emotions and life matters more. Yeah. Um, as much as I hate to say that, because I love music, but it's so true. And like mental health is number one, um, mm-hmm. despite everything that's going on. So we're trying to like focus on that first, yeah. trying to get that intact before we even like push out an EP. But the goal is to have one by summer. Um, we have a lot of songs that we've been working on. We just got to finish them really. And um, yeah, it's. Um, I guess I could like. Talk about a little bit. I mean, yeah, let's talk about Real um, quick, right before you get into it, y'all yeah. want to give the camera like an update on your paintings? Bro, Real I don't quick. know what I'm doing. Listen. Yeah. I'm just doing some abstract. I started doing <laughs> I, I, thought like you, I, I thought you had a son. Listen, I, I had the sun. <laughs> I did see the sun. Look. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Like, hmm, it started making green. Okay, okay, okay. Um, like, hey, that's pretty over. sick, though. Yeah. Y'all, 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 that's y'all, they did better than me, man. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to be like my friend Jasmine Murius over here. You see the Eli? Looks like something she'd make, right? <laughs> she's she's a art inspo for me. For sure. Little quick side note though, I feel like when we were talking about humility earlier mm. and you know how you were saying like you feel like we're super humble. I feel like you're very humble and I think something that like really contributes to that is the fact that like we juggle so much in our lives. Like we're mm. still working full time jobs, yeah. part time jobs, whatever the fuck jobs, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. at this point. Like and I feel like I've seen you through so many eras and so many <laughs> jobs too. <laughs> <laughs> that it's like That's so true. yeah it's just like you've been in so many environments where you've had people kind of throw you around mm. and like use the fuck out of you kind of yeah. yeah. and yeah. it's like when you become a musician and like you're working for yourself and other people are like taking in your art and consuming it it's yeah. like yeah that that can really get to your head That's so yeah. true so true Perfectly. but yeah thank you right. the EP I think yeah. you guys are very humble as well <laughs> thank you yeah. yeah EP um so it's it's gonna be interesting. It's an interesting project that I've been working on. I've been working on this for like two years straight, like just trying to figure out the concept and like mm-hmm. what I want on there and things like that. But I think I really want to talk a lot about um, what it means to be against the world, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so like my whole ideology, obviously, is like don't be like the person next to you. Like it's good to be yourself sometimes, but obviously be the best version of yourself. Um, and so like the world has this whole thing of just like. Um, just kind of like spreading like just nonsense bro just like oh I don't know just like people always getting in the wrong crowds or just like people surrounding themselves in negative spaces and just like getting involved with things that they shouldn't be or just like you know ruining ruining their lives Mm. Um, so I want to create like a culture especially with this EP of just like yo this is a safe space like you can grow here you can heal here you can do whatever you want um, to make yourself a better person and we're going to be against what the world is shoving in our face um so, like, first song that's going to be on there is Hold On. Um, I have a few other songs in the vault <laughs> that I'm not going to talk about yet. But they all kind of, they don't have the same premise, but they have, like, um, they talk a lot about, like, you know, relationships. They talk about love. They talk about, you know, humility, like you said. They talk about um, honesty and just vulnerability. So, like, that's what it's really going to hone in on. Uh, I've been taking a lot of inspo from Sanfa, uh, a lot of inspo from McGee, Dijon, D'Angelo. Cookie yeah, cool. yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Obviously, Daniel Caesar too. Like all these artists, like have influenced me spectacularly, and um, it's probably gonna show in the subtle, in the subtlest way because it's still gonna be me in the EP. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. Thanks. Did you like start writing songs and you're like, oh, I want to make an EP, or mm-hmm. did you like over time you're like, 
these could all fit together in a project. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it always starts off as an idea, like, okay, I want to make an EP, um, and, like, I have a weird thing of, like, coming up with the titles before I even make the songs. I don't know if y'all do that. No, that's do y'all cool. Do that? Sometimes I feel like <laughs> yeah. there will be, like, a title in my head, and I'm like, like, mm. In Orbit. Yeah. When I wrote that, it's, like, with the, In Orbit's, like, a YouTube beat. Yeah. And I don't know, like, I just started writing the song, and then Orbiting just, like, I think it was just subconsciously in my mind, so that's it sick. just... You know, it flowed it right kinda, out. Yeah, it all came out. Because I don't think I don't even think you say in orbit in the no, song, right? No, yeah, I, don't. I just say orbiting. Orbiting, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. I know we have a we have we have a demo that like we hate the name for it because really? it was just oh we just because it's so easy to like write a song and then yeah. like when you're like you have to wrap it up real quick the demo or whatever yeah. you just like, be like uh let's just call it one the the name the the um the words in the lyric yeah yeah it's called precious and we're like man Ew. I hate that's it. not bad bro nah, no, I, don't know. So, I just know a bunch yeah. of people that don't like name precious <laughs> they not precious <laughs> <laughs> no nah, I be naming my stuff the wildest thing like Pupu Kaka <laughs> uh. Doodly do no Coachella Wagwan verse. was one. <laughs> Wagwan. <laughs> Wagwan. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Just crazy names. But I'm yeah. I'm trying to think of like what's the craziest name we've ever named a demo. Only Cochino verse is like probably the Cochino-verse. only. Cochinoverse. You watch this like TikTok. It was like oh, unnamed no. TikTok about like it was some Crunchinos. existential yeah, shit. Really. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. But we just called it. <laughs> in a, that, that has been, like this, there's no relation between yeah. that and the song whatsoever. But <laughs> at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Like we just kept watching that. all that. I think it's called Hockey Joe. That's the TikTok. Is it? I have heard oh, yeah. of something Joe. It's like the little animation. Hi, Maybe. my little name Little cute is, animation. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I've seen there's that. one of a little orphan boy. Yeah. He's like, I'm a little orphan. And then when I go home to my grandparents, he's like a rich kid. He's rich, but he's not. He's pretending to be orphan on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like crazy. everything is like so cute and wholesome then it takes a turn yeah, yeah. that's wild no, yeah, i gotta yeah. see that yeah we'll show you for sure after that's crazy mm-hmm. i don't know what else to paint i'll be honest i know i'm like i want to make waves i haven't even started. how do i do yeah, that oh, nice like the, the save Spider-Man. save luffy save luffy save luffy for real so one piece anime let's let's talk let's <laughs> about the anime oh, though yeah. oh man because i know we're all fans so yeah. i don't i don't think i know your top three Man, I don't even know if I know my top three. <laughs> All right, so. It's a hard <clears> question. <throat> I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. AOT is my top. Number one. Number yeah, one, I'm about to say one. boo, low key. That's just so mainstream. Low key, it like. is mainstream. It is mainstream. <laughs> but I can't lie, like, the yeah. way that show. I didn't read the manga. That's vibes. So I watched the show just, like, going fresh. And um, I, I don't know. I'm a really big on storytelling. I'm really big on, like, yeah, just, like, how they wrap things together. I love, like, shows that from the very beginning, it means something to the very end, yeah. you know? And uh, that's kind of what that show showed uh, to me. That show showed, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, it did show. Yeah. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Did you watch I that one? I honestly was? did. The yeah. yeah. At our, at our house? The first part, and then I watched the second part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it made me really sad, but it's so real because, like, do that that credit scene of just like the tree. I don't want to spoil it. Well, it's not really spoil. I guess the tree. If you didn't watch it, if you didn't hey, watch, you watch it, what are you doing, yourself, my friend? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So like the scene with the tree and like you just see like um, everyone coming to visit the grave. Mm. Like and then the years pass and then like you see in the background just all the chaos like the fighting the wars that happened continuously over and over and over restarting over and over yeah, restarting yeah. over. It's a cycle. It's a cycle and like. I guess it resonated with me because, like, it's the whole thing with, like, being against the world. Like, the world shoves hate in your face, but you're all about love. So I was like, dang, this is deep, bro. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. it's just it a cycle. It never ends, love. man. <laughs> well, so, yeah. It was edit about love, though. He had to do what he had to do. He had to do what he had to do. He loved his people. He loved his people. He loved his people, and he did what That's he did. All I, I got to say is he ain't wrong. He, he wrong, but he ain't wrong. Aaron wasn't wrong? He wrong, but he ain't wrong. Yeah. All right? I don't know. When in the end, you know, when you kind of, when they were all, you know, in the, another spoiler, yeah. in whatever yeah. world they were in. And oh, like, yeah, yeah, you know, And he was explaining everything, and Armin was so mad. Yeah. I was kind of like, yeah, bro, you did not <laughs> need to do that. <laughs> yeah, like, that's true, that's you true. You know, you could not have neglected Mikasa and, you know, every yeah, that's true. Friends. You could have just... Hey man. He told us the plan. Could have been a calm little vibe for real. Calm you know, little vibe. Could've you could have done with the you could have done with the segregation. <laughs> Listen, we did it for so long, you could do the same thing. <laughs> no for real. He just not black. He's just not black, bro. He, do you yeah. think like you wanna put in that word? It's like for the be- like the world is for the better now, like AOT world? No. No, yeah. definitely not. Basically what it's saying is like 
that's just a never ending. Cycle, yeah, yeah. yeah. Continuous yeah. cycle. I'm trying to hit at number two though. Number two, oh yeah. man, Full Metal. I like Full it. Full Metal. I like it. Yeah, that's a great anime. Yeah. Number three is a little iffy. I'm I'm stuck on two. I'm stuck on two. I was gonna say I haven't even seen Full Metal like that, so I can't even. You can't even say. Yeah, because I watched it on the flight, and then, you know, I was like, okay, cool concept, cool concept, but mm. there was nothing in the show that made me want to, like, keep pro. going. Yeah, yeah I get that. It takes a while. It does take a while. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't even know. My number three is kind of crazy. I have three number threes. Okay. All right, you got a comic I kill? Oh, okay. I've never seen it. Really? Mm -mm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, then you I got hate everybody dies. Dog. I hate that. It's like Game We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. Yo, it's, We're not talk it's, about that. it, bro, the ending, you just pissed, bro. Yeah. You just pissed. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it makes sense, but it's just still like. Nah, they had to do that. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they had to do that. And then I also got Erased on there. Oh, oh. Erased. Erased is underrated. That it's plot, underrated. it is low key. About that, so that plot is just fire. Yeah. 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 It's fire. I feel like animes that are not about like fighting or fantasy, yeah, stuff like that, action, yeah, it's kind of hard to like you know keep my attention as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then I think the last one has. To oh, I'm sorry. The last yeah. one has to be um, oof, has to be Death Note. Okay, yeah. Death Note. okay, yeah, I like it. Death, Death Note is so, so good. But do we want those are pretty like mainstream yeah. animes, but like it's no, classic though. I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a weeb yet. Yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting not there. Yet. Yeah, but like. Get, go easy on me. Did we right? want light to die though? Huh? Did we want light to die or? I I, I think he deserved it. He deserved it. Yeah. I think he deserved it. I think the way he died though in the show was. It was crazy. pathetic. It was kind of crazy. It was pathetic, but was I think pathetic. that's what I think that's what it had to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It couldn't but be Grand Doys. In the manga, he yeah. was like a much cooler like. Yeah. If if they just put two more minutes of <laughs> yeah. animation. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, right. I think it was kind of like I think it was good because it showed that like. Yo, like you're embarrassing. You're like, human. Yeah, you're yeah, human exactly. as hell. You're yeah. mortal. You're not a god. Exactly. You think exactly. Ryuk was behind light going like? Yeah, <laughs> no, for real. So like, I, I appreciate. It. What about you, Ryan? Top yeah. three. Top three animes. Well, now that you said Death Note, I'm like, damn. I feel like I have to put it up, <laughs> up there. I feel like it's like, I don't know. I think about, I think about Death Note. Yeah. In the most random times, because I watched I'm it when I was young. Oh, go ahead. I watched it when I was younger, like sixth grade. I remember yeah. my dad wa like walked in on me watching it. He was like, "You understand Japanese?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This is some titles <laughs> right here." Yeah. But um, yeah, Death Note because I just have such good memories of watching it, and I love the philosophical mm. argument behind it, like the moral argument, like was light morally right? Because I feel like if I had the Death Note, shit, I go through the sex offender <laughs> registry like that. I'd be yeah. like, Doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah. So, Every every political leader I don't like, True. I go crazy. But like my ops in trouble. I'm telling you, bro. Listen. <laughs> I'm telling you. But like, yeah, a Death Note, um, One Piece. Even though I'm not done. Yeah. One Piece is great. Shout out to Luffy. Like, Greatest story ever told. Monkey yeah. Monkey Luffy. Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Is a top one. I think because. The the universe is really nice. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There we Hunter's go. so good. Like even um. Just like in blood, I like reference Hunter like two times because I say like chains wrapped around my hands and my hearts. So I'm fighting phantoms, mm, you know, Karapika, I didn't that. my Hold guy. On, wait, I didn't that. Yeah, I just feel like That's it's weird. such a stylistic inspiration for me too. Yeah. That's real. And I love Gon. I feel like I, I see myself in Gon a lot, you know, just like. A 12 year old yeah. little boy. Yeah. A 12 year old little boy. Being super, yeah. like, and I, I'd love to see myself as Kidua, but like, you know, I know I'm not hard like that. Like, <laughs> I, I know I'm super. Style wise, you know, style wise. Yeah. yeah. Super yeah. naive, super like, oh, like, let's go. Like, yeah. Let's do it. Let's yeah. Believe in everyone. Yeah. I'm going to find my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. I got to be quick. Yeah, <laughs> no, it actually like, was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, though? Like, I feel like the ending of it, even though this shit's never going to come back. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to just call it the ending. But yeah, it was like, it was satisfying, but it made me want more. Of course. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. What are your top three? Um, so like, number one is like, uh, I don't know if you ever watched Code Geass, but like, oh, that's my number one. Code I Geass hear is for sick. some people that's like, Really good, like unmatched. Yeah. Yeah. No, the main really character, I heard like, that, and AOT is like everyone's top. Yeah, like Lelouch is my favorite main character of all Sick. time. So, Code Geass. What's Code Geass about? It's basically this dude gets this power where, like, if you look into his eye, he can basically commit, give you one command that you have to follow. He can only do it to you once, basically. Damn. Only once. Only once. Yeah. Mm. Like he, and he he uses it very strategically. Like he's very smart. 
He's he starts like a he's actually like a uh he's like a I forgot an exile prince. Oh uh, yeah, his, and his father's like a king, and like he's trying to like it's it's I can't explain it. It's just Dude. it is crazy. High keto, like high key. Really? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but uh, Kogios Hunter Hunter is, is definitely up there. Like it could sometimes it's my number one. I I love Hunter Hunter. I just I love how like it's not like the typical protagonist because how it switches yeah. from like Gon to mm-hmm. Krepka being a protagonist at one point yes. and just the different stories and characters you know yeah even when, the way their stories all connect to yeah it's so cool. yeah even when Gon like you know when he got like yeah he was just hurt and Kiyo was trying to like um find his way to Gon with his um sister oh, yes. and mm-hmm. it was basically about Kiyo at some point you know yeah. what I mean like I, I love I love how Hunter Hunter does that every character kind of had their Though I feel like the only person who didn't really have their shine was Leorio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little boring. He don't need no sign. He don't need no sign. He don't need no sign. Nah, he looked 32. He 15. It's, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I know some people like you're that a parent. in high school. <laughs> they, was, they was 15. That's they was looking funny. 30. Um, what are y'all's favorite top three? Yeah. Slide over here. Slide over here. Slide over here. Yeah. So, come over real quick. We're, we're come over here. Introduce the boys real quick. I did want to ask y'all some. I did want to ask a question. Introduce the boys real quick. Yeah. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Stuck under. I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what else is one of my top three? JoJo's. JoJo's. Really? Yeah. You're one listen, of those. Listen. Listen. Eli's a huge JoJo fan. You're d- <laughs> not please. huge, but I'm just teasing. Because yeah. JoJo is just so the art style is great, the music is great. Yeah, the like, ending song. The ending. The. <laughs> yeah, the ending song, bro, oh, is so fire. Sorry. It's like literally R and B. I can't. I can't do that come over here real quick. Like someone can take my my Slide. mic. Like someone come yeah, behind me. Someone come behind yeah. me. Everyone, this is Rain versus the World. It's not just yeah. me. If y'all want to introduce yourselves yeah. real quick. Yes. Sure. Where can I, oh. I stand between you guys? That sounds yeah, cool. Still That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Why you sound like you just woke up? <laughs> Where that deep voice come? So oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he did just wake up. For real. All right. So uh, I'll introduce myself. My name's Elijah. I go by Eli. Um, I play drums in Rain versus the World. And uh, yeah, uh, I think my top three anime. Um, number one has to be Naruto. Okay. It just, okay. yeah, you yeah. know, it just came out and like I watched it at such a pivotal point in my life. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it like sh- definitely shaped my personality and a lot of like how I view the world. Um, Sorry. No, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think, I think number two probably has to be uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. That's um, Live action? You go to last. Yeah, it falls apart at the end, but like, dude, that, I mean, that writer, like, that writer, he like really knew what he was doing, like, and I also really like it because I watched Hunter Hunter before, and it's the same writer, and so like, you kind of see like the through line in the show and like how he kind of has his ideas, and it's it's just really cool to see like a writer's evolution, and that's. It's like kind of like with music. Yeah. So Yeah, 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 for sure. And then number three. I might have to go with uh, I might have to hop on the bandwagon and go with like Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's go. Dude, yeah. that show, that's like, up there. That's up there. That's that, up there. that show's There's good. Out, like, yeah. Like it is pretty tough. It, it's it's pretty up peak. there, bro. It's the more it keeps going, I feel like it would definitely be like. Too. No, yeah. It just it just pulls like pulls on the heart a lot. Yeah. Like a lot of the a lot of the things that happen, and you're just like, yeah, I'm all caught up. Oh. oh. Tui. Oh, I got these no <laughs> Me too, yeah, because I am um, not finished. Well. So my name is Alex. I play keys and I play guitar for Rain vs. the World. Uh, my top three anime. Okay, funny story. I just got into this. Like, I had Eli make me a <laughs> list. Uh, you know, thank you. Welcome. I, I, had, um, I had Eli and my friends make me a list. So I have, like, a note on my phone like oh, of just, like, all the anime to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now, my top is Hunter x Hunter. 100%. Yes. 100%. I really, you know, you know, you finished it? I finished it. I really, I really enjoy the fact that Gon is like the strongest character on this show. And he's legit. But he's legit yeah, yeah. and he's also the most vulnerable. Like everyone so, acknowledges yeah. that he's like, oh, he's dangerous. But yeah. he's like, he's so like into his feelings and very mm-hmm. set on what he wants and he's very like. He did like me for real. You, can, <laughs> you, you know, he's very relatable. <laughs> Um, Twin. so I'm gonna say my number two is Erased. That story is amazing. Mm-hmm. It definitely yeah. took me by surprise. Everybody yes. was talking about it. Yeah. Everybody was talking about it and I was like, wow, 
this is this is it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and number three, um, wow. Okay, so number three, it's a new one. You guys, have you watched Solo Leveling yet? Let's go. <laughs> Solo Leveling boy, is amazing. Boy. Is that the one? I, is that the one I was thinking of? What's that one about? It, it's this guy. Uh, I guess everybody gets powers at birth. But oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Told yeah. Me about that one, dude. Yeah. That show is amazing, bro. I gotta tap in. That show is amazing, and it's not done. Well, it's not done yet, or at least all the episodes are not mm. out yet. Mm. But um, everything I've seen is just, I get gassed every time I watch it. I'm like, yo, I'm strong too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's, fire. that's fire. That's awesome. You know when I would watch Naruto, Rock Lee was always my inspiration. And my favorite. Like really getting serious about the gym, so I was like, oh yeah. If I cannot do. A hundred push-ups, I will do two hundred! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so no, that's my favorite character for sure. Rock Lee. Rock yeah, Lee. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's my favorite too. This show should have been about him. <laughs> Dude, they, yeah. They probably did. Him and Guy Sensei. That'd be mm-hmm. fire. That yeah. would be fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny you the mentioned JoJo too, because like, JoJo. when I told him about, people were telling him to watch JoJo, and I was like, don't do that. Because <laughs> like, no, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing about that's JoJo. Wild. If you watch that show, like, you're in like you just have to be into the whole thing of anime yeah. like i when i tell people to watch certain shows because they have to kind of be invested into like the style Story and the style of anime jojo is all style mm-hmm. and so like if you don't get the style you probably won't get the show as well as you should because i remember watching it the first time i was like what what is this why are they pointing so much <laughs> not it i feel like the the style of anime at the time for me was keeping me from getting into the plot. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? The style is so cool, like so unique. Can yeah. I, I I do I do want to ask you guys how you how you meet? Like how did this come come together? You know? So you want to tell them? Yeah. So right. um, <laughs> I've been talking a lot. So I met Rain. I met Rain in 2018. Oh wow! That's around cool. there. When I moved um, here. Yeah, when he moved here. And so I, I'd been going to uh, this church for a super long time. And then he just kind of showed up. <laughs> and, um, you know, he, uh, yeah. And so, like, I was, play, I was playing in the church band. And then he joined. And then, like, so then we just kind of saw each other every week. And then that's kind of how we, like, connected was just, like, through playing music even before, like, now playing music as we are now. And then, and then Alex, you know, he showed up. I don't even know how long ago. It feels like yesterday. Bro. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about your little journey? Uh, okay, so um, I was going to a church, and I wanted a young adult community. And I found one. I, I saw it in the same church that they were going to. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it just seems like the first day I walked through those doors, like, they were there to receive me as if I was supposed to be there in that moment. Like, they were, bro. And ever since then, we were just, you know, kicking it. Yeah. You know, you know, and then I learned they were musicians, and I was like, "I'm a musician too." <laughs> like, who? Like, what do we do with this? <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> and so, um, you know, I found out Raid made music, and you know, Eli was playing with Rain, and Rain was like, "Do you want to play?" And I was like, "Me." For real, <laughs> <laughs> I know him, but sure. I I known him like a month, I think. When I asked him, so okay. so how do you do? You guys get nervous like for performances, like jittery or? I think I think playing in church just like every week and seeing a bunch of people, I think it it doesn't make me not get nervous, but it like kind of showed me how to handle it or forced me to because it's like you're you're going on stage like. Yeah. Yeah. We, we practiced, we're, yeah, you're, you know what I mean? And so, like, it kind of, for me at least, it taught me how to, like, deal with it better, okay. you know? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I think for me, it's the same. Like, you know, being on stage and people looking at me, like, doesn't really affect me as much anymore. I think it's more like if I was home practicing this lick for five hours mm-hmm. and now the time has come for me to play this lick. Today. <laughs> Today. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I would be like, all right, let's get this lick. And then after that, like, I'm, yeah. I'm straight. Yeah. So so how about this? How about you guys do this favor and prove it? Prove what? Play Fargo. How nervous you get. <laughs> how ner- what we, shaking our boots? Oh, yeah. You want, wait, you want us to like I'm right trying now? to see rain versus right the now? road right now. Right. We didn't prepare anything. <laughs> that means nothing to me. We're always playing. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Y'all seen that video? I'm joking. Oh, I love that video. Can I get a bite of that? I feel like everybody. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. 
kidding. How are we going to do this? I'm, I'm like wrapped in this. Yeah, I really trapped you, so. Can't leave. Oh. Sorry. You're going to have to sing from This is supposed to be a smooth transition, by the way. You know, <laughs> it'll be smooth. <laughs> Do his thing. Shout out Philip, by the way. I don't know if it's picking up any audio. I don't know. If, oh, there we go. Hey, hey y'all. Hey y'all. Shout out. Trust nobody. Um, this is a really cool experience. I've never done this before, so this is very new, and I feel very blessed. We feel very blessed to be on episode one. So uh, shout out episode one. Yeah. Um. What's the set? <laughs> oh God, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? You sure. Are we ready? Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's do it. Hop us up. Let's do it. I'm trying to get on there. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. And hold on. Hold on. I know you're lost and scared, love. I know you're terrified, but hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Hey. And Father, stretch my hand. Stretch my hands to you. I've given up on rest, but you said I want the best for you. This pure rock and events, this broken, chipped, and torn for you. Inside the lines, figure it out the dial. I've been running up the mile. Gotta get it right, gotta do it for my child. Cover in his lies, put something sun my eye. Take a look inside, take a look inside my mind. I can't deny I've been putting up a fight. I see the faces of the angels coming inside. Tell me not to worry, cause it's gonna be alright. No, I can't keep it to myself, it's too much. Thank you. That was our first time performing that. That was cool. How you guys feeling? Good? 
How you guys feeling? Sick, sick. Um, song number two. Rayanne, this is for you. <laughs> this is Fargo. Here we go. Pretty brown guys in the sun glow Cigarette haze in your wet clothes I know you don't smoke but my heart knows That the air we breathe alone Is filled in our bones Cause I met a girl from Fargo I can tell where I'll go Wish me well Cause I won't let it go And I'm on my way tomorrow Take a train to Chicago Wish me well Cause I won't let it go I won't let you go And time's moving slow in a fast lane I'm taking a plane to Mary Jane That's how you face I open my eyes and feel like oh 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 yeah. In homes where I'm going, I'm feeling low And oh, I gotta loosen up and free of my mind You're the air I need from my high I am scared of losing this time Cause I don't know when it's time to go on Baby, know the feeling's alright We can sort of finish this time We're floating our hair the stars in our eyes Cause I met a girl from Fargo I can tell where I'll go Wish me well Cause I won't let it go And I'm on my way Tomorrow Take a train to Chicago Wish me well Cause I won't let it go Cause I met a girl from Fargo I can tell where I'll go Wish me well Cause I won't let it go No, 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 no And I'm on my way Tomorrow Take a train to Chicago Wish me well Cause I won't let it go And I can't lose When I'm with you I can't snooze and miss the moment You're just too important Nobody, nobody but me, you ah! I forgot the words When I'm with you No, I can't snooze and miss the moment You're just too important Nobody, nobody but you do Like you do ah. Take it away, Alex Thank you. <laughs> Sizzle, I'm so sorry for messing up the words. Man, that was crazy. I, I literally did it perfect every single time, but this time. That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, we have our most popular song called I Want You. Um, almost at 10,000 streams. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's my first time like publicly saying that. So thank you guys so, so much. I used to hate this song. <laughs> I didn't think anybody would like it. So the fact that it's almost like reaching the milestone that I never thought it would reach is insane. So let's get it. Let's do it. Hope you guys can dance with me a little bit. Hey, ho! What you trying to do to me? I'm in your world, in your world. I'm stinging 
Thank you, Trust Nobody. Thank you, Rayanne and Aster. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, am I closing out the show? Am I just say bye? Okay, sweet. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we are Rain vs. the World. You can stream us on all platforms. I think our name is somewhere there. Uh, if it's not there, then it's R-A-Y-N-E, V-S, the world, no spaces. Uh, we got a lot of new music coming out this year, so stay tuned. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>